Hello, everyone. So this week is a kind of big week. We're finishing off chapter five with section 5.5 here, where we are looking at things called trigonometric equations. And this is probably the most computationally dense section of this unit. It's one of the more computationally dense sections of this entire class, where we're looking at things in terms of having just one trig function or things with multiple angles or things in special forms. You have to use identities and factoring and even things where you might have to use a calculator to get your answer because these are not going to be simple all the time. I'll try to keep us to the more manageable cases for the most part. That's what I'll lean towards for, well, that, that other thing we've got this week. But know that these can get pretty involved. So take your time going through here. It's kind of good that this one's off on its own a little bit. However, finishing this section means we are finishing chapter five, means we are finishing unit two, means we have an exam at the end of this week. So that also means we've got a lot of deadlines in my lab for chapters four and five to handle. So be prepared, get that stuff done as best you can, along with a study guide to help you prepare for that exam. I think it's really important you look at this one because there's just so much you can do with this trig stuff. It's really good to know what I think is most important here. And then from there, we have the exam itself, along with a pre-assessment moving into our third unit, but probably that's not a super high priority at the moment. Right now, you're probably a little bit more stressed out, a little more focused on getting this done, and by the end of the week, getting that done. So let's move in there and get to work with the end of chapter five, and as a result, unit two.